Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts, and today guys, I'm going to talk about something that I don't talk about on the channel per se, because it's so different than what I do on the channel, and that is talk about a passing of somebody that is an icon in the uh, type of music I love, which is metal and hard rock. The infamous Lemmy from Motorhead has passed away at age 70. Now, I did a little looking here to see exactly what happened because it's like out of nowhere 70 years old yet he was kicking ass still touring and still putting out music i mean they put out an album this year didn't they let me look let's see they had to put out an album this year i bet they did let me look i'm looking right now uh can't for some reason can't find it but it blows my mind because it's like, you know, you would have thought that they would just continue to keep going. Yeah, right here. Bad Magic. They put out an album this year, the second, the 22nd and final studio album, because obviously the passing of Lemmy, but 22 albums. They were still putting out albums. He was 70 years old. He put out an album this year. They were still touring. I know there were some issues and all that kind of stuff where he had to cancel some shows because of... He was having breathing problems. Then things apparently got better. And then all of a sudden, an hour and a half ago, from what I'm learning, he passes away. Like, he finds out he has some type of a cancer. They call it aggressive cancer. I could be wrong. That, that report could be wrong from what I'm reading. But he learned about this cancer he had two days ago. And he passes away two days later. And it's like, all of a sudden, you know, it just... It, it just blows my mind, you know, that someone that, you know, iconic is just gone. Some would say he's 70, you know. He lived a good life. He did. He was an icon in metal and hard rock music. He was in one of the most, you know, influential bands of all time. A band everybody cites as an influence to their music whether you're a guitar player, a bass player, a drummer, a singer, more likely Motorhead or Lemmy was one of your influences. So the fact that after so many albums and so much touring and being one of the most well-known bands in the world, you know, that's just a milestone not many reach. And he reached it. And he stuck with it. And he kept on uh, pushing forward and continuing to make music and still kicking ass so god this is just sucks this sucks because it's like one of those things that you just don't think that will happen you know even though he was up there in age it was obvious from like i was saying earlier about his breathing issues and having to cancel some shows when he came back and everything was getting back to normal where he was just going out and doing shows it's like okay well we're good now right I guess not. So, I guess then the thing to do is just listen to Motorhead. If you haven't heard of them, check them out. You might like them. Um, I was reading a statement, I think, from the band or somebody from the band saying just, you know, listen to Motorhead. Listen to other stuff he's been a part of. Just, you know, have fun. <laughs> have a drink or two, you know. Celebrate. Don't mourn. It just, you know... I'm more just a little bit. Just a little bit. It sucks. But let's celebrate what he brought to this world. To the people that know the band, the people that know him, let's celebrate what he did. Because he literally made heavy music. He was, as everyone, even my personal favorite frontman of all time, James Hetfield, calls him the godfather of heavy music. And he was the father of heavy music, the godfather of heavy music, whatever you want to call it. He was one of the iconic members of the community of metal and hard rock music. And he will continue to be that because there's not a lot of people that get to that level of not only success, but just the status of what he brought to the world of music. You know, not many people reach that. Yeah, you can sell millions of records. Yeah, you could write albums upon albums upon albums. But when you're consistent and you bring a whole new type of feel to the music and you bring 
your personality and you bring a certain type of heaviness, something new, something different at the time, which Motorhead did, you know, you can't say that a lot of bands do that because they don't. There's certain bands that do it that set the tone for the rest of the bands coming afterwards. And Motorhead set a tone, set a precedent, and everyone had to follow it, essentially. That wanted to do the music that they were trying to do like Motorhead. Motorhead was the kings of it. Motorhead was the gods of it. So, it's just, just something I didn't expect. And it's a shitty way. I've read a comment. I have to agree with this. This is a very shitty way to end 2015. It's the fact that Lemmy is no longer with us. But damn, did he live a good life. And damn, did he live it to his fullest. He really did. So, Lemmy, I never met you in person. I never saw Motorhead in concert, unfortunately. But uh, I respect him. I respect Lemmy. I respect Motorhead. And uh, they said that they're going to be releasing another statement in a couple days. So we'll see what they say. But for right now, let's go listen to some Motorhead. Peace out, everybody.